Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thai Queen's Beauty Tutorials here with another video. And today I decided that we was gonna do this video where we constant we only only talk about hair loss, um, how to grow it back, you know, if you're not dealing with like any complications that you know about, um, that you um, maybe discuss with your doctor, like high blood pressure, um, you know different thyroid issues or it's so many reasons why you can lose hair you know that you can just go to the doctor and get checked out and see um if you know if you're going through um what you know levels you're going through in hair loss first scenario second scenario whatever go see a dermatologist um it's so easy for you just to go see a dermatologist see what's going on with your hair but if you're not going through any of these things um having any kind of you know common situations that can make you deal with hair loss you can easily just go to the store and buy like nice oils for your hair like um one of my favorite oils that i like using um that really does me well is jamaican black castor oil however this is one of my this is a newer brand and it smells so good this is like it smells like a chocolate vanilla it's really nice um haitian black castor oil and i really i really like using this oil on um my hair especially my edges where my um i have thinning a lot my hair is thinning from a lot of retention on my edges as far as dealing with like braids and stuff like that just you know protective styles that may weren't really too protective because my hair got harmed more than anything but I really I really try my best to not do braids I, and, and I get so lazy guys like I really feel like sometimes oh well I, you know I need my braids and it's only because I have like a ton of things to do I'm a professional makeup artist all I really do is keep my life on a go so it's like when my um to deal with my hair often especially when it was long 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 and I did cut my hair again because I was dealing with my, my edges situation and everything. I just wanted to, I needed to be free girl because it was just too much going on. My hair was too long. I was like, well, why don't I just cut it to kind of even out whatever, whatever. But however, I'm happy I did it because I wanted to cut my hair completely off, but I didn't. I put a texturizer on it. Um, Watching YouTube videos, chat. Um, so yeah, change the texture of my hair. Don't do that because you're gonna be dealing with two different textures in your hair. That just wastes time. Some if you if you like that, if you like it, really gives off beautiful styles. I really like it with my lengthy hair. I love the rock and roll look, Tina Turner look. Oh girl, come on, come on. But anyway. I love those looks, but it was just really hard for me to even deal with my hair. Uh, it was like, dang, well, I changed the texture of my hair, and then on top of that, still got to deal with my edges at the same time. Turned around, got braids again, um, did a setback, okay? Now, you don't want to, you know, have it going good and then push it back, you know, again, because if you... If you got it going good and you you do a do a, a protective style, you know the wrong way, then you're gonna have breakage, um, and then it's gonna be kind of harder to grow, get the growth going the way you had it growing. So that was a tongue twister. So with that being said, don't have setbacks um, by um, making the same decisions that made you lose your hair from the jump stress okay that can do it um another thing that i really like guys apart from black castor i like to massage my hair with this um in when i shampoo my hair and whatnot i like to use these little scalp massagers here scalp massagers are really nice for hair loss and guys if you are experiencing hair loss nine times out of the ten you might not be doing what an average person would probably you know what a person should do to the hair 
you know like wash it once a week or deep condition after you wash after you shampoo whatever you want to call it but you should deep condition after using any you know well in school you know they don't teach us this but every time you wet your hair you should deep condition yes you should yes because I miss Blaylock told us that so many times we should deep condition after um shampooing um hair anytime you put water to your hair you getting your hair wet you have to make those strands penetrate again you have to put those strands back in the place that in their place you have to calm everything down because in, anytime anything get into your hair your hair is gonna be activated the conditioner helps deactivate it you know um you know just i hope that makes sense activation deactivation activate okay so i like using these cool huh you get these um from any beauty supply store no 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 um orta orta beauty um that's why i got mine i really like and i also have this one and this one kind of vibrates if you've been watching my channel for a long time you know i like to use these you know so yeah if you guys like my bunny thank you like i love my bunny i'm gonna get some more i'm gonna get some more i'm gonna get some more of these girl mm -hmm. let me know if you like it girl send me your money i buy it for you <laughs> okay so anyway i like using this right here so um like this check this out it's a it's actually you drain by batteries and it lasts pretty long actually This one doesn't do that, okay? This one doesn't do that, okay? So, I mean, this one is more affordable than this one. But this one is not that high either. Especially if you're dealing with hair loss, it really helps. I mean, it, it helps get the oils deep into the follicles, you know, into the scalp. And massage it really good, really nice. So, moving on. Black castor oil again, and this is the one that will be on my website soon, guys. Um, however, let me tell you, I can't tell you what I put in here, but if you watch my video, you should know. But um, you can get any Jamaican black castor oil and mix it up with your favorite oil, okay? And when you do that, you make sure it's blended in well. And I recommend that you use light oils with the castor oil because the castor oil is super thick. Um, yeah, so loving, loving this. And guys, another thing that if you're having hair loss, you should you should be sure to take vitamins. You will be surprised with vitamins. I know my fingers might be red eating hot chips. So, if you're having hair loss, vitamins should be your top of the food chain one of your high-end commands okay hair vitamin is good like if you guys watch my natural hair videos for years i swear about biotin biotin just biotin i mean any kind of biotin you know um it's good for you um i just like um taking you know i like getting all my calcium you know calcium is good for the hair you need calcium for your bones your bones need calcium and when you get products with calcium in there it, it grows you know like your carrots you know carrots <laughs> carrots are good for your hair all right so if you can take carrots in every now and then you don't have to buy buys and just eat carrots carrots is the best thing you can do for your hair broccoli is good for your hair but carrots are carrots girl drink carrots drink carrots walk get get like relieve some stress by walking because if you're dealing with hair loss you could be stressed out so go for a walk allow your hair to you know stimulate some blood flowing somewhere so we can relieve some stress and grow some hair um, subscribe to this channel because I gave y'all my secrets. That's all right. You ain't got to subscribe. I ain't going to give y'all no more secrets. I ain't going to tell you nothing else. Also, guys, I got a new oil I made. Girl, lavender it has lavender in it, but lavender seed, okay? Because, girl, let me tell you, using all this lavender that's been processed, it just irritates my scalp really bad. However, I learned lavender is good for the hair. 
Oh, girl, you want to wake up some hair, put some lavender in your head. But it will irritate your scalp if it's not organic or really pure or, you know, sometimes it can be too pure. You know, sometimes it can be too pure, you know, and you got to mix your oils. Lavender is good. If you guys think about it, just drop a little drop of lavender in your favorite hair oil and watch what happens. Um, this is one of my, I use, this is by, um, real um lavender seeds and i you know use the lavender seeds to help infuse the oil i infuse the oil from the seed and mix it like and i actually use like sunflower seed and um avocado oil and some more favorite oils of my choice to help this be a hair growing serum uh fighter okay so i'm i mean like seriously it's so nice girl let me tell you if i didn't have this bun on the whole video i would totally like take it off and like share it with y'all how i use that all but not today girl y'all see me so many times but anyway also guys i do have another product that's actually on my website now and this here is my hair loss spray okay this is called the hair loss juice madame cosmetic hair loss juice okay and let me tell you something let me tell you something when you put this juice in your hair girl it's so bad that the moment i launched this product on my website it was gone <laughs> now i think i got three again okay so i only made like five of them and then they were sold out like well let me make another one. People really know me from hair, you know. So, anyway, I'm moving on. Also, guys, I'm going to let you guys know, um, I picked up this biotin and collagen uh, thick, thick and full shampoo. All right? And I used to use this a long time ago. All right? I really like this biotin and collagen shampoo. Um this is um i need more shampoos i need more conditions if you guys want to see products that i like to use in my hair comment down below this video and i will bring those videos to you and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up now i wanted i would add more things in this video but no need i wanted this video to be consistent about hair loss if you are experienced hair loss you should honestly be um trying to work on your hair your own go to a hairstylist that specializes in hair loss go to a dermatologist if it's getting too bad and nothing is working you can pretty much tell a difference in if something you're using is working within two months you can see a difference in your hair in two months okay i mean your hair over time will tell you if it's working within weeks if you just listen to it um yeah and don't forget if you're experiencing hair loss be sure that you shampoo your hair completely make sure you get the shampoo completely out i, I knew there was something was wrong with me Tati, Emma, you, you do this every time come on come on why ain't not even the bathroom man what about coming here like this for I was trying, I was trying, I was trying to sit there and listen to the chick too. I'm sitting there. I don't know what to do. 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 Go to Amazon, get you some biotin, some collagen, get you some um, carrots. Go to Walmart, pick up some carrots, eat, you know what I'm saying? By doing that, your hair should be doing something. And if you don't see nothing, you go to the dermatologist, okay? So they can tell you what stage this is and what they can do for you, okay? Because I'm telling you, I mean, you have stages to this thing. Uh, Sometimes all you got to do is put a little oil on it. Massage your scalp, get some uh, blood circulating. Bump, I'm telling you, it's some products out there that really, 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 really work. Really work for your hair. And I'm not lying. Like, 
I believe, you know, over the time I've always, you know, it's all about who you got in your hair too. You know, um, if you got somebody in your head that don't know what they're doing, your hair going to fall out. All right? You just got those people that um, can really make a good thing bad. Like, if you, like, piss your, um, your, your, um, your, <laughs> your style is off. If you piss your style is off, girl, let me tell you what's going to happen. Two things can happen. She can either forgive you and keep doing your hair, taking your money, or she tell you to go find somebody else to do your hair. So, yeah, and if you real picky, picky, sometimes people who are really picky, 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 picky about the hair, sometimes, sometimes, especially, you know, if you, you just, you just too much, Sometimes, sometimes you might have to go to somebody else, you know. But going to somebody else for one shouldn't be so bad so you can see your regular next week. She got to have a vacation too. So you don't get mad at your stylist because, you know, she had to be a lot on you every now and then. She need a life. But sometimes you can go to the wrong stylist. You go to your folks that think they really can do some hair. And your, your, your hair don't like them. Simple. <laughs> your hair don't like them, child. You got, I believe, some people have hands that can curse your head. You know, because these can grow your hair. I'm telling you. <laughs> if we work this more, <laughs> you'll be okay. But, seriously, I hope that helped. Um... Yeah, I know what you're going through, girl. I did hair for a long time, and I experienced it, you know, and it's just, I'm, I'm very picky about my hair because of that. <laughs> very picky, because if I take my hair out, okay, let me take it out. But if somebody else take it out, sometimes when somebody else take it out, it might not come back. I'm just saying. So, I... I I, un I honestly only do braids and sometimes I just feel like that I, I really feel like braids is not the best thing for me because my hair really don't like other hands I mean every time I let somebody do my hair my hair come up it's like they do everything probably right you know it's just my hair just really picky and I, when I'm doing my hair I have my edges when I'm doing my hair, I just, everything just do, I guess I've been doing it for a long time. So I, I just know what my hair expects of me. And sometimes, it's just like you should know what your hair expects of you. You might get lazy sometimes and you may have to go somebody else. Go get some, go get a braider and braid your hair. And that's understandable. But you have to be willing to understand that sometimes you might have a little retention here. And it might cause a little bit of breakage that may come back within time. It might make you think you crazy having your hair loose. Uh, you you gonna be thinking all you gonna be thinking the worst. All right, but truth be told, <laughs> I know what happened with my age. <laughs> and I will still go back and make that same mistake. But I'm not gonna do that right no no time soon because I'm really focus on my hair okay um I, I see a great amount I would take this off but I don't want to I see a great amount of my hair grown back if you guys can see like we were all the way gone like we are I'm actually coming back I mean seriously cuz it was bad like my hair was I grew my hair back with this <laughs> and this which is this castor oil. this is Haitian black castor oil and this is Haitian castor oil they say is a special castor oil so you can't get this castor oil from nowhere else but Haitian Haitian castor oil is special alright so what I'm gonna do is 
I'm finna share with you guys, share with how y'all, how I use this castle. I'm using my product first. Spray a little bit there. Put that on my trouble areas. Then I'm gonna take it on around. Ooh, you can feel a tingle in there, like girl. And some of y'all might not like the scent, but ain't what's let me tell you some what's for you ain't gotta smell good, honey. I'm just saying, you need a miracle. You need a miracle, Chad. Calm me down, and I'm gonna try to get it. For, I'm gonna try my best to bring that hair back. So I just like to tap it in. Oh, I love the way that feel. So I'm gonna use my lavender oil, which I can use the Haitian oil, but I, I really like my lavender oil here. My lavender infused oil. And I'm gonna just like dot it. You know, so any kind of oil that you take and you just put on your scalp, you'll see a difference in your hair growth. Alright, so I just love this oil so smooth. Oh my goodness. Oh, so then what I'm going to do, you can even take a brush and rub that in. Um or get you some castor oil. Little drops of castor oil. I love the way this smell by the way. And I like to take this oil and do the same thing. But this oil oil is way more thicker than my um lavender oil. So it, it's not gonna take as much. So what I like to do is go into my hair and I will take this off for you. I will take this off, alright? Anyway, so what I will do is take this oil, massage it into my hair. You see, look at that shrinkage, girl. I cut my hair more, more, more. I don't have no problem with cutting my hair at all. I like to cut it, especially if I have damaged hair. I like to kind of get rid of it. I don't want to see damaged hair in my hair. I don't. I don't like the way that. I don't like the way that it is. So I like to take my oil. And just put it in those areas. Y'all seen this on TV. This is the same thing you do with your oil. You know. You don't have to be on commercial to take care of your hair. Shoot. Do this um, treatment. Buy my oil. Or buy this Haitian oil here. Or buy any oil. But buy my oil. Because <laughs> I'm telling you about somebody else's oil. And I'm talking about my own. Ooh, my oil though. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's so smooth and still. Oh. Ooh, ooh! You can buy my oil on my website because the website will be in the description box. So anyway, look at that. Ooh, ooh, girl. Ooh, she's ooh. So, oh yes, honey. And then you can take this spray and kind of seal everything up. <clears throat> it just feel like everything is working together. So. Massage it. Then you take your satin bonnet here. Okay. And you put this on your head. Like that. Like that. Okay. And I'm going to take my African bonnet. And I'm gonna put this over here like that, like that. Ta da! Okay, so that's the way you take care of your hair. Um, using my products and other products. So if you experience any kind of hair loss, do what I just did every day. Every day. Before you go to bed, before you go to sleep, do what I just did. Every day. Don't miss a day. Do it. And shampoo your hair once a week. Don't miss a week. Once a week, shampoo your hair. Deep condition. After shampooing your hair, don't miss a week. Deep condition. Every time water hit it, you need to be deep conditioned. Clean your scalp. Clean your scalp. Massage your scalp really nice. Okay? If you don't know how, then get one of these. Get one of these. If you're experiencing hair loss, if you ever see this, Grab it, okay. This will help shampoo your hair and get those, get those, get your hair clean. Get your scalp super duper, duper duper squeaky clean. And also, don't forget to exfoliate your scalp. Um, you don't have to, but I've been using this ACV apple cider vinegar scalp scrub. 
really like it. It's, it's really really nice. It's really nice. And I even it's even one that um has like these beads in it. It's it's really nice. It has like these beads and it. it's it's you just exfoliate your scalp. Your scalp needs exfoliating just as well as your face, your body. You need to exfoliate your scalp with some kind of natural scrub. Right? If you don't have one, you can go buy one. Um, Ulta Beauty, you know, and Ulta Beauty, you know, certain things, you know, you have to get from certain products, like, or certain places. Like, I recommend Ulta Beauty, and I also recommend um, Sally's. If you're going through any hair loss situation, you need to make sure the products that you're getting are very potent and they're real. All right? So, I'll see you guys later in another video. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel so I can bring more videos like this to you. If you guys like these videos, I can keep pushing them, pushing them, and bring them to you, girl. And that's actually cool too because I can sit here and talk to you guys all day after taking a bath <laughs> and, and go get ready to go to bed, girl. I can do this all day, honey. Yeah. So you just let me know. And we can we can do it. So be sure to give me a big thumbs up on this video and let me know how much you enjoy watching this video. Ooh girl I'm thirsty. Real life moment right there, baby. That can't be easy that. Mm -mm. Ooh. Come back see more videos like this on my channel by subscribing ringing that bell ring that bell let you know notify you whenever I make a video you'll be the first to know okay just case YouTube don't spit it out to you take it secret take it tea all right so if you like hair videos you need to be subscribed if you like um makeup videos you need to be subscribed if you like beauty tutorials you need to be subscribed See y'all later. Bye.